Welcome to Salad with a Side of Fries. I'm your host, Jen Trepic, talking wellness and weight loss for real life. We're here to clear up the myths, misinformation, bad science, and marketing to teach you how to eat and how to cheat. Are you ready? I'm having salad with a side of fries. This week, we're talking about collagen. So (gasps) collagen, right? So excited. That's a good one. So collagen protein has gained in popularity over the last few years, and I think it's important to understand why, what it does, and how do we pick a good one, right? So starting fundamentals, what is it? Collagen is a protein. It is actually the most abundant protein in the human body. Kind of amazing. It's referred to as a complex protein because it's a structural protein or like a long chain of amino acids. So one of those is called hydroxyproline, which is only found in collagen, but it is also found everywhere in the body. So what that means is we need collagen protein. And our body can actually produce collagen naturally by combining a bunch of other amino acids, right? The building blocks of protein, provided we're getting enough of those foods that give us those building blocks. So we need proline, which is going to come from like egg whites, dairy, cabbage, mushrooms, asparagus. Glycine, which comes from like pork skin, chicken skin, gelatin, or as we talked about before, bone broth. Vitamin C, we know citrus fruits, bell peppers, things like that. Zinc, which comes from beef, lamb, pork, shellfish, shellfish, I can't even speak English, chickpeas, <laughs> lentils, beans, milk, cheese, seeds, nuts, and copper, which is like the organ meats that none of us ever want to eat, cocoa powder, <laughs> sesame seeds, lentils, right? So if we're eating all of these things, then our body can produce collagen. And it actually comes from the Greek word cola which means glue. So we can think of it like the glue that holds the body together, right? So it's in our joints, our skin, our bones, our muscles, our blood vessels, right? So collagen provides the structure to your arteries, which are the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Hashtag important, right? (laughs) So without collagen, right, our arteries become weak and fragile. That's a problem. And in our lives, right, we have increasing wear and tear on our skin, our hair, our bones, our joints, all of these things over a lifetime, right? We have more wear and tear. That's often why we see like dry, wrinkled skin, joint pain, weakened bones, right? The other side to this is that as we age, the body's natural production of collagen slows down. And it's harder for the body to naturally produce it. So like there's a definite connection here, (laughs) right? Which makes the argument then for supplementing with collagen. Now, the nutrition facts of collagen supplements, they're going to vary depending on which one you're choosing. But generally, a serving is about 14 grams of collagen peptides. You'll get about 12 grams of protein. There's no fat, no carbs, no fiber, about 50 calories. It gives you some calcium, some sodium, and a teeny bit of potassium. So choosing your supplement, I recommend one that has collagen type 1 and type 3 from non-GMO sources and is a hydrolyzed concentrate. So those are words that you can look for on a package. Type 1 and type 3 collagen account for more than 70% of the collagen that's essential for healthy skin and connective tissue. When we choose a concentrate, we do it because it's a highly versatile form. It offers multi-gram servings of collagen in a small package, right? The hydrolyzed component, so hydrolyzed collagen peptides, refer to the collagen that's been broken down into a shorter chain of amino acids. And that is actually better and easier for our body to absorb into the bloodstream and gives us what we call better bioavailability, right? And then gives us our body the building blocks to make the collagen that we need. So supplementing with collagen helps uh, with skin elasticity, thickness, hydration, supports 
uh, collagen maintenance throughout the body and healthy bones and bone health supports healthy joint tissue, the function of our joints, in, including cartilage, tendons, ligaments, like all the pieces. <laughs> and the truth is that the science actually backs it up. So this was a really interesting study. There were 73 athletes who had 10 grams of collagen a day for 24 weeks. Okay. So not a short period of time, 24 weeks, they experienced a significant decrease in joint pain while walking and while at rest compared to the group that did not take the collagen. And appropriate for this week's episode, collagen also makes up between 1% and 10% of our muscle tissue. So collagen protein is important for muscle strength and function. So this one, there was a study, they called it 27 frail men (laughs) was the study. They took, I know, they took 15 (laughs) grams of collagen while participating in an exercise program daily for 12 weeks. And compared to the men who exercise daily but did not take the collagen, they gained significantly more muscle and strength. So to reiterate, right, collagen supplementation may be critical for healthy aging because of the unique role it plays in maintaining and supporting our skin, our hair, our bones, our joints, and our muscles. So a couple things really quick. Um, Things that you may have heard about collagen that are not necessarily supported by the science, one is gut health. So some health practitioners say that, you know, a collagen supplement uh, is helpful in treating intestinal permeability. So we think about like leaky gut, Um, but the studies don't really back it up. That doesn't mean that it's not true. It just means that we need to do more science. We need to study it more. Um... Another one is brain health. So some people may have said that taking collagen improves their mood or they have less anxiety with collagen supplements. And really studies haven't looked at this at all. So I I mean, if we're trying to connect these dots, I could see it being more a function of pain and inflammation impacting the mood and anxiety more than like the collagen directly impacting the brain. But if we study it, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and the last one is weight loss. You know, some people will say, oh, I took the collagen and I lost weight or I, you know, have a faster metabolism. And again, like the studies aren't showing this direct correlation. It's more that I think, as you know, from listening to the show, the collagen supporting the muscle health, which leads to improved metabolism, therefore the weight loss, right? It's not always like because of A, then B. But as we always say, muscle dictates metabolism. (laughs) Also, if you are allergic, do not take a collagen supplement, (laughs) clearly. But I feel like sometimes we need to say it. So like if you're allergic to any of the sources of the collagen, because sometimes they'll be like shellfish or eggs or fish, um, some people may experience heartburn. So pay attention to that. And... um, There also hasn't really been science on those who are pregnant or breastfeeding with taking collagen. So last question is, you know, okay, collagen sounds great. So when do I choose, you know, a collagen supplement versus other, you know, like a um, whey protein or a different kind of protein? And I think both play a role in the body. Whey has all nine essential amino acids. It can be a great option to just rotate the two. You know, you can use, you know, one if you have allergies to the other. You can try them oh, try them both, switch it up, see which one helps you feel better. Um, I would say collagen, like we saw in those studies, collagen typically requires a relatively significant period of time before you might notice a difference. But try them both. I use them both at different times. Sometimes collagen is easier. Like the one I take, it tastes really good. It's a little vial of liquid and it's like a raspberry flavor. So sometimes I'll add it to tea. I have a friend who puts it on top of sorbet and it's, I mean, amazing. (laughs) So there you have it. The story on collagen protein. So it can be an awesome supplement and, you know, add it because it really helps the body. Natural production decreases as we age. So it is though the most abundant protein in the body. So let's support it. Again, we want a hydrolyzed concentrate of type 1 and type 3. Good? 
Sounds great. That sounds, yeah, that sounds amazing. There have been a lot of articles on that. (laughs) Positive. Yeah, very positive. Awesome. Well, Amy and Chad, thank you again for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. As always, everybody, I'm your host, Jen Trepic. Connect with me on Instagram at Jen Trepic, J-E-N-N-T-R-E-P-E-C-K. That's really all the platforms, so you'll find me everywhere. Please send me a message. I can't wait to hear from you what you're taking away from this episode. And it's also the easiest way to reach out and learn more about working with me directly. Of course, if you're not already a member, join the membership program by going to glow.fm slash salad with a side of fries to show your support for this podcast, this community, and most importantly, your health. And this week's recipe that you'll get is for the Crock-Pot Chicken Taco Bowls. So Sounds good. So good. So until next week, remember you are stronger than you realize in every way. And we will see you right here next week. Well, friends, that's it for today's episode of Salad with a Side of Fries. Congratulations for making yourself and your health a priority. Thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to click subscribe or follow on your favorite podcast platform. Share us with a friend and we'll be back next week. Always remember, you deserve it and you are worth it. Happy healthy.